properties. Now we're going to be working on random variables. And by definition, random variables are just variables whose possible values are numerical outcomes of a random event. So the definition might be a little bit complex, but um, once we have more examples, you'll be able to understand that random variables are just basically numerical values that we use to uh, denote the possible outcomes or possible combination in a certain event. Now, on, a, on my first example, I have an experiment, and the experiment we're working on is flipping a coin three times. So when we flip a coin th three times or one time or four times, the possible outcomes will be heads or tails. However, in this particular um, experiment, I'm just going to focus on the numbers of heads that I'll be able to get when I flip a coin three times. Now, to represent those numerical outcomes using the random event, which is flipping a coin three times, I can have my random variable. So I'll be able to list down my random variables. And in this particular experiment, my random variables will be 0, 1, 2, and 3, which is basically the possible number of outcomes when you flip a coin three times and you're focusing on finding heads on those combinations. So the, these values right here, 0, 1, 2, and 3, will be our random variables represented by x. And for my second experiment, I have rolling two dice. And when I roll two dice, and I'm just going to concentrate on this particular event of uh, adding the two numbers of the two dice that's facing up, it'll start from 2 and it will end to 12 because when you roll two dice, the possible sum or the smallest number of sum that you'll get will be 2. It's not going to be 0 because in a single die, there's no 0 dot in your um, die. That's why you're not going to start with 0. So you're going to start with 2. So um, you need to think. You need to be able to visualize your event for you to be able to understand how we are collecting all these variables, which is 2, 3, 4, up until 12. So these are my random variables for this particular event of finding the sum of numbers facing up when we roll two dice. Now we're going to be focusing on the first type of random variable, which is discrete random variable. And in this probability question, we are here to um, find uh, the random variable and its probability using this experiment. And our experiment will be flipping a coin four times. And we're going to be focusing on counting the number of tails or possible tails when we flip it four times. So in this case, our sample space, which we have um, um, dealt with in the previous lesson that we did, the sample space for getting tails when you flip a coin four times will be equal to 16 possible outcomes. And here are some possible combination that you might need to visualize for you to be able to understand why I got 16 here for my sample space. So the first possible outcome when we flip a coin four times will be four H's, H, T, H, H, which is one tail and then three heads, and so on. And if you count all the possible outcomes for this sample space, it's going to be equal to 16. However, this 16 right here is not our discrete random variable. This is just our sample space that we will use in our probability model later on. Now, the discrete random variables for this particular experiment, which is getting tails, will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Zero uh, possibility that we're not going to have any tails when we flip a coin four times, and two, and so on, etc. So there's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and these will be our discrete random variable for getting tails in this particular experiment. Now, to find all the possible probabilities or um, to create the probability model for this particular experiment, we just need to find the value of P of x equal to 0, P of x equal to 1, probability of x equal to 2, probability of x equal to 3, and the probability of getting four tails when we flip a coin four times. And this is how we write it in mathematical notations because you don't want to write it as probability of getting uh, exactly one heads when you flip a coin four times. So to do it mathematically, you write it as probability of x equal to one. So these are just probability no notations that you need to understand and you need to learn how to use to make probability question a lot easier to understand. So here to find the probability of the first um, 
um, discrete random variable, p of x is equal to 0, it's going to be 1 out of 16. Because there's a possible or there's um, a combination of, or one combination that we have, which is h, 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 which gives us 0 heads when we flip a coin um, four times, so you have 1 out of 16. For p of x equal to 1, there's four possible outcomes for that one, so it's 4 out of 16. And for p of x equal to 2, or probability of getting equal, um, exactly two tails, one flip coin four times will be equal to 6 out of 16, p of x equal to 3 is 4 out of 16, and p of x equal to 4 is 1 out of 16. And this is how we use our discrete random variables to find the probabilities of a certain experiment. On this second example, we're going to um, apply the discrete random variables or collecting the discrete random variables in a particular experiment to answer some specific questions pertaining to that particular event. So in this example, we're still going to use the previews um, random variables, which is flipping coins four times, and we're still going to be focusing on tails. So here we're going to answer using the probability model below, which is this one. Let's find the probability of getting at most two tails when you flip a coin four times. Now at most two tails means um, we can have a maximum of two tails when we flip a coin four times. So what are those probabilities? And we're going to find out about it using the probability model. And in this case, to represent this particular word problem in a probability notation, it is simply p or probability of x less than or equal to 2. And we're, if we're finding the probability of x less than or equal to 2, we are simply focusing on adding all this probability on this model from 0, 1, and 2. So to get that probability, simply add this three together and we'll be able to answer this question. So the probability of getting at most two tails when we flip a coin four times will be 0.6875. So we added probability of x equals 0, x equals 1, and x equals 2. And the sum of them is 11 out of 16, which is this decimal right here. So the probability of getting at most two tails when you flip a coin four times is 68.75% using the probability model. So uh, by just playing with this probability model, another question that, might, that we can answer is what's the probability of getting at most four? At most four tails when you flip a coin four times, so that means maximum of four tails. It will include 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, so just add them all together. So when the question is, let's say, what is the probability of getting at least three tails, at least three tails when we flip a coin four times, will just be this probability right here. So more than three, so we include four out of 16 and one out of 16, and we add them up. So that's how we use the probability notation right here with our discrete random variables in answering um, probability or new probability questions in this particular unit.